the Paris Air Show 2025, Salon International de l'Aéronautique et de l'Espace, Paris Le Bourget, held from June 16th, 2025 to June 22nd, 2025, was a stage where aviation's future met its present. It was more than an exhibition. It was a global summit of aviation, defense, and engineering brilliance. For a week, the skies above Paris roared with the sound of fighter jets, buzzed with futuristic drones, and shimmered with sleek new airliners. Engineers, military officials, airlines, and governments from nearly every continent converged on this historic site, turning it into the center of the aerospace universe. From cutting-edge engineering to billion-dollar commercial deals, from dazzling aerobatics to geopolitical negotiations, the event was a vivid snapshot of humanity's relationship with flight and its vision for the future. Before we take off, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the biggest global events and innovations. Innovation, the electric and autonomous future. Perhaps the most striking symbol of innovation was the surge of electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, EVTOLs, touted as the next revolution in urban mobility. These futuristic air taxis, designed to whisk passengers across congested cities, were showcased in both static displays and flight demonstrations. From established players in Europe to Silicon Valley-backed startups, the race to dominate this new form of aviation was palpable. Innovation extended well beyond passenger travel, Autonomous drones drew record attention, with halls filled with prototypes of unmanned aircraft systems designed for surveillance, cargo transport, and even combat support. Advanced flight control systems, improved endurance, and greater payload capacity were all part of the conversation. The air show, a symphony in the skies. No Paris air show is complete without breathtaking aerial performances, and Teuton 25 delivered with thunderous energy. Crowds gasped as fighter jets tore across the sky in synchronized displays, leaving trails of white vapor over Le Bourget. Civilian aircraft performed elegant flybys, showcasing not only their beauty, but their engineering sophistication. The French Air and Space Force led with its Rafale fighter built and owned by Dassault Aviation, served as a centerpiece for the flying displays, performing sharp maneuvers that highlighted its agility and precision. The sheer roar of the engines was enough to shake the ground, reminding everyone of the power modern combat aircraft hold. The air displays weren't just about entertainment. They were statements of capability, proof of technological dominance, and demonstrations aimed at potential buyers among the attending delegations. Commercial aviation, the deals that shape the future. Inside the business pavilions, the commercial aviation sector stole headlines with deals worth billions. Airbus once again emerged as the clear winner of the show, announcing large orders for its most popular aircraft. Middle Eastern airlines, European carriers, and Asian operators all signed commitments, ensuring Airbus will dominate global skies for years to come. Riyadh Air made a major statement by purchasing A350 Dirs 1000 aircraft, part of its ambition to become a world-class airline within the next decade. Poland's Elot committed to dozens of A220 aircraft, marking its modernization push and diversifying its fleet. Viajet, one of Asia's fastest-growing carriers, expanded its Airbus order book with an eye on capturing future demand in Southeast Asia. The scale of these announcements underscored the resilience of global air travel, which continues to expand despite global disruptions. Throughout the show, one couldn't miss the airlines flying Airbus aircraft, subtly reinforcing the manufacturer's ubiquity. Carriers like Indigo and Air India are among the world's largest customers, 
waiting for deliveries of hundreds of narrow-body jets, while Singapore Airlines, Qatar Airways, Cathay Pacific, Air France, Lufthansa, Delta, and Ethiopian showcased wide-body models like the A350 emblazoned with their liveries. On the regional side, the A220 is held aloft by the likes of Delta, JetBlue, Air Baltic, Air France, and Breeze Airways, creating a tapestry of airlines connected visually and operationally to Airbus, the fighter jets, power and prestige. Military aviation was another powerful focus. Nations brought their finest aircraft to Paris, each hoping to demonstrate superiority in the skies. The French Rafale, already a proven success, dazzled audiences with its display, but the real interest was in future programs like the European Future Combat Air System. This next-generation fighter, expected to fly alongside autonomous drones, is a symbol of European ambition to maintain independence in defense aviation. American companies and their allies also highlighted their fighter technology, but the spotlight increasingly shifted toward collaborative programs. Engineers explained how fighters are no longer just about speed or stealth. They're platforms designed to integrate with drones, satellites, and digital combat systems. The concept of the fighter jet is evolving from a standalone aircraft to the centerpiece of a vast network of systems. The drones, autonomy, takes center stage. Drones were arguably the biggest story of Paris Air Show 2025. From small surveillance models to massive unmanned combat aerial vehicles, drones dominated discussions and displays. What once seemed like a supplement to traditional aviation is now at the heart of global defense and civilian strategies. The most revolutionary idea presented was the loyal wingman concept, drones designed to fly alongside piloted fighter jets. These drones extend range, provide surveillance, carry weapons, and even absorb enemy fire to protect human pilots. New products and cutting-edge technology. From engines to avionics, exhibitors filled the halls with products designed to push the industry forward. Safran revealed its M88 T-Rex engine upgrade, offering higher thrust for the Rafale. Startups introduced cabin designs that reimagined passenger comfort, integrating lighter seating, better lighting, and advanced entertainment systems. Hydrogen fuel technology also emerged strongly, with prototypes of aircraft designed to run on clean hydrogen power. While still years away from widespread use, these systems promise to cut aviation's carbon footprint dramatically. Hybrid electric engines were another exciting development, suggesting a near-term path toward greener skies. Airbus made headlines with the latest iteration of its A350-1000, a flagship long-haul jet that stood out for its efficiency and comfort. With enhanced Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines, improved aerodynamics, and a cabin designed with weight reductions and advanced pressurization, the A350 demonstrated why it has become the benchmark for sustainable wide-body travel. Airbus executives also hinted at the model's adaptability, confirming that the A350's architecture is being studied for future hydrogen compatibility, ensuring it remains relevant in aviation's greener future. Interestingly, the legendary A380 was absent from the show, underscoring Airbus's pivot away from super jumbos and toward efficiency-focused aircraft. In contrast, the A400M military transport aircraft drew strong attention, showcasing its versatility in strategic lift operations, disaster relief, and tactical missions. The global stage, countries, and delegations. The Paris Air Show is as much about diplomacy as it is about technology, and 2025 reinforced that truth. Delegations from nearly 50 countries attended, representing governments, militaries, and corporations. Each nation came with its own agenda, whether to secure defense deals, 
purchase commercial aircraft, or showcase domestic aerospace achievements. Europe used the show to emphasize unity in its defense sector, particularly through multinational projects like the Future Combat Air System. The Middle East displayed its growing influence in commercial aviation, with Gulf Airlines commanding attention through major deals. Asia was a rising star, with both established players and new challengers eager to claim a piece of the global aviation market. It wasn't just Airbus and Boeing on display. The Chinese manufacturer Comac made its presence known with the C919, its domestic narrow-body jet. Though still establishing its global footing, its appearance in Paris highlighted Beijing's growing ambition to challenge the aerospace duopoly in the years ahead. The event also had a political undertone. Geopolitical conflicts in the Middle East and the tragic Air India crash influenced attendance and discussions. Yet despite the tension, Paris Air Show 2025 became a reminder that aviation remains one of the few sectors where countries unite to share progress while competing fiercely. A world united by flight. The Paris Air Show 2025 wasn't just an exhibition. It was a narrative of where humanity is heading. It combined engineering marvels, sustainable visions, military ambitions, and cultural exchanges in a way no other event can. From the roar of fighter jets to the quiet hum of electric taxis, from billion-dollar airline deals to the unveiling of experimental drones, every moment at Le Bourget told a story of progress. As the crowds dispersed and the skies quieted, one truth remained. Aviation is evolving faster than ever, and the Paris Air Show remains its greatest stage. If you enjoyed this journey through the Paris Air Show 2025, make sure to subscribe for more global insights, deep dives, and stories from the cutting edge of innovation. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this has been Kimlude Media.